fight. Mr. Metz, his first match, versus the one of the best in wrestling, Hulk Hogan. Already in the ring, at a weight of 120 pounds, from Coopersville, Mr. Metz. What a hit. And now entering the ring from California, a weight of 250 pounds, Hulk Hogan. Look at those body functions on his. Oh my heck, it's starting already with the Mets. Wow, look at those kicks by the Met oh, man. We'll down ringside along with Hulk Hogan and Mr. Met. What a fight this is turning yeah! out to be already. Mr. Met. Who do you think's going to win this match? Well, I'd say Hulk Hogan, he's been a favorite of mine for a long time, Jesse. Well, he's been a favorite of everybody's for a long time. Well, that's true. But Mr. Met is also... I think, I think Mr. Met probably won. It is his first time in wrestling, I think. And um, he looks very strong. Well, he's you in... got to go with the Hulk side, though. He has had more experience in the WWF. Well, how would you know that? Maybe he is. Maybe he's trained a lot more than Hulk, and maybe he might be better. Now, will you please shut up? Well, maybe, Jesse, but... Hey, quit arguing with me. Okay, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. No, just shut up. Oh, is that a side suplex? No, that was not a suplex. Oh, yes, it was. Yes, it was. Oh, oh I bet, oh, I bet that ought to hurt. The huh. crowd is going wild for that move of the Hulk. That must have hurt. The way of that looked. Boy, he's going off the top rope. Oh. The Hulkster moves again. Oh, what a nail to the shoulder. Hulk goes round. Oh, misses him. Well, wait a minute. I think he got him. Oh, nice chops the back, Hulkster. Yes. And he, everybody does like that one now. Well, oh, my he heck. Back up, but it's not Look at that punch. Oh, dude, did you see that kick? That was a awesome, I mean, that was totally cool. That drop kick. Down on the ground, Hulk Hogan bounces around and... Nails him into the head. That must have given him a wild headache. face on Mr. Mitt, as he does not know where he is in. Oh, my gosh, nice forearm by the Hulkster. And Mr. Mitt goes down. You know something about Mr. Met? The, he's got a, oh my heck, just what I was talking about. He used to have a hat on, and that would protect him from someone pulling him his hair. And so that hat would make sure that no one would get his hair so he couldn't get pulled up by him. But well, now that his hat is lost, I guess it's no use now. Well, Hulkster's setting up for a rock and no shake, rattle, and roll. There he goes. He's oh, he does it! He got the there. shake on the roll and he is down! For the pit, maybe. He might even win this oh, thing. Oh, nice yeah. job! I heard that all the way up to here! Well, you know, Jesse, we are at ringside. You know, it's not too far. Oh, oh nice job! Cool nice job, Hulkster. Now, use your head. And you can hear someone in the crowd saying, use oh. your head! And I guess that's supposed to mean a headbutt or something. <laughs> Cereal! I'm hungry. Oh, nice little right there. Oh, the Mr. Met's coming back. Whoa, look at that. Big arm going across the holster's back. It's oh, blocked! Block, double block! Oh, kick to the stomach! Hulks are ripping off his shirt finally. I'm surprised he did that. Usually he would rip it off earlier, but you know, I guess not. He got him in the full Nelson. He could win this. If his hands are hooked together, it is all over. Let's see what happens. I think he got it. There could be.
feel, Bill, if he gives up. Uh, he's going down, I, I think. Give up. Oh. The match is over. Yes, the match is over. We have a winner. The winner of this bout. Flexing as he usual does as at the end of those fights. Dun -dun 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 Our tag team bout, Mr. Baseball and the Ultimate A versus the White Tiger and Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Already in the ring. At a total combined weight of 425 pounds. The tag team of Mr. Baseball and the Ultimate A. That used to be the Philly, didn't it? Yes, it did, Jesse. And making their way to the ring area at a total combined weight of 400 pounds. The White Tiger and Hacksaw Jim Duggan. What a team. This match is scheduled for one fall. <laughs> Gentlemen, one man in the ring, one man. I'll keep him out of the ring, boys. Well, I must say, Gorilla, this looks like a great match. The Ultimate Ace looking better than ever after he's been reborn. And Hacksaw Jim Duggan is bigger than ever. Oh, that was a vicious slam, a vicious slam. But the Ultimate Ace sure acts different. The White Tiger down there chanting the call of Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Oh, that was a vicious blow. And Mr. Baseball goes in to finish him off. Put him back. What's he doing? Oh, he's pounding on his head. Well, Mr. Base Baseball just took the club and is pounding away. Look at those two at it from outside the ring. The White Tiger and Mr. Baseball. And here we are back at the fight. Oh, he's going for the big slam. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh! Hit the face, Bob! Thumb! I'm wondering if these two will ever tag. What a vicious fight outside of the ring. Yes, it is, Gorilla. He's going for he the finally tag. made the tag. This here is the White Tiger in his second bout. Oh, a vicious drop kick. The ultimate ultimate A. Is down. Oh, and there goes his hat. Oh. Oh, and down goes Action's Mr. Baseball. Action's going out of the ring this fight. A lot oh. of things happen in this fight. The ultimate A with a drop kick of his own. There goes the A's hat. Oh, a vicious blow to the gut. I can't believe how good the White Tiger's doing. He looks great this match. Looks like the ultimate A better tag to get out of there. We're wondering if he Daddy can make it. Mercy. Oh, he's it. down on his back. Hit to the back of the head. Look at that. A jumping Pounding around. on the back of his head. A grabs for the leg. And Mr. The ba and the there. fresh Mr. Baseball waiting outside of the ring. Already. <laughs> Who's your pick in this match, Gorilla? I'd probably say the... And the tag is made. I don't know, the baseball. Mr. Baseball pounding away. Well, I don't know. I'm going to have to go with the experience side with the White Tiger and Hacksaw Jim Duggan. 
He's one of them greats in this. Well, the ultimate A chan, in a way. Mr. Baseball is going at him. Oh, Mr. Baseball, for his famous slam. Oh, and they're both going taking it. The ring. Hacks at Jim Duggan. Oh, and almost almost Hacks at Jim Duggan and tries getting in, but can't the do it. A oh, the, the ultimate A pounding on him from the back. Look at that. Look at that. That would be pain. Amazing. Oh, they shouldn't be able to carry these weapons into the fight. These are vicious weapons. And action's still going outside and inside <clears throat> from Ultimate A. Oh, a hit! Good two by four. Well, I'm wondering if this might fight will ever end. And he's showing off the colors of the two baseball people. Oh, oh baseball! And baseball's coming back! You'd think you'd have some. This is amazing! Think. And look at that baseball though! Looks like he'll Doug be going for the pin, if not, he's crazy! No! He'll be crazy now to go. Oh, Doug, this is mad! We need a referee! Time. Go ahead, Jesse. Just about to ensure after fighting the sup the refereeing the Summer Slime 88, coming in and pushing everybody out. What is this? He's actually fighting. What a match this is. Exciting one. <laughs> here comes Hill through the A. Oh, Joe, Joe, Joe. We need two men in the ring. And here they are. Hey, fool, not me. Oh, Jesse! Jesse is back. Boy, that was rough. I've never been in the ring for five years. White Tiger outside of the ring, beating on Mr. Baseball! What is this? We need a ref again. There's another referee. It's Jesse! And they're all in! And look at the hats on Jim Duggan! I'd like to have a clear-cut winner. The fight prevails. Wait a minute, we must not have caught it. But they did make the pin. The game is over. Ding, ding, ding. Let's go back and see that pin again. Replay of that pin that we all missed. Well, I didn't notice this before, but there's the one, two, three. And it looks like we have a clear-cut winner. And that's the match. What's wrong with us? Sam <coughs> Houston and Hulkster, alias Hulk Hogan, versus the Bulgarian Blimp and Rambus Rocker. This match is based on revenge for the Bulgarian Blimp and Sam Houston. Already in the ring at a combined weight of... 705 pounds because of the Bulgarian blimp. The Bulgarian Garian blimp and Rambus Rocker! What do you need? And now, making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 350. Sam Houston and Hulk Hogan! The gold in California Is in a bank in the middle of Beverly Hills It's somebody else's name so Looks like this is already beginning! I just ran up here. Oh my heck, look at that. If he dropped him, oh my heck, that would be insane to be in his position. Oh my gosh. Well, he did. And I think that hurts. The reason why I'm breathing so hard because I
that I'd run up here and or here comes my friend now. And I was just feeding myself a hot dog. Hot dog. Close one. And man, it's, yeah, I'd say. Who do you think's gonna win this matchup? And the Hulk Hogan just threatened Bulgarian blimp. I think Sam Houston will. Well, that was one of the Bulgarian blimp's special moves. His headband falling off. And he picks him up! What will he do? What is he going to do? He will! Will it be a body slam? Maybe not! Yes! It might be! He might put him all the way to the top! It is! All the way to the top and down to that mess! He'd go for it again. Oh no, it's just a little sad. Maybe, oh my gosh, if he did just. It's a body oh. slam! If he would have done the same thing, I think he would have won this one. You and know, he hits right in You know, I heard they were coming out with a jump five. Him. That'd be something, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. I can just picture it now. Ah! Ramos Rocker hacking away on. Sam Houston. Sam Houston. And Sam Houston is really getting it this time, isn't he? Rambus Rocker with a big smile there. Well, you know, I think it sh should just be the blimp and Sam Houston. And a blimp picks up Sam because Houston and hits him hard. They said in their interviews that all they want to do is rematch. And you can see some of the blimp's belly hanging out of his stomach. Right. I say he gained like a thousand more pounds. Oh, I'm just kidding. Um, I think he gained he a has, lot more. He has pretty much over the summer. And they tag! They get the tag! The Hulk is oh, coming, in. coming in! Oh my god! He looks scared! Don't let him tag! Oh my gosh! I think the Hulk is getting away. And the Bulgarian flame getting mad at Hulk. At Rambus Rocker, Hulk sir. This is getting Standing away, away on him. him! Oh my heck! They're both getting it up on him. And behind oh. the ring, look at that, oh, Sam no. Houston beating it! He's coming into the ring! Hey, oh, who oh, took no, my hot dog? Now. Where's my hot dog? Oh. Wait a minute, where's my drink? Oh, oh my heck, did you just take it? Hey, get back in here! Oh my crap, where is my hot dog and my drink? Oh, there it is. Man, this is so good. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I think he's gonna get beat up. The ref's oh. trying to go back in here, or whoever he is. They're ganging up on him. The blimp is going to throw my friend out, and if he does, I will pound on his face. But I cannot leave this camera alone here, so I don't know what to do. They are ganging up on Sam Houston and the hoaxer, and my friend is trying to stop him. Hey, did you take my drink? Have you been trying to, have you heard it? I mean, seen it? Me? No, I just want to get a hot dog. What happened? Oh. I thought, saw out of the corner of my eye this Bulgarian blimp body slammed the ref. So did I. <laughs> and Sam Houston. This is Sam down. Houston, some hero. Yeah, you are some hero, oh, Jay. And I'll oh, tell you what you are. You're winning. Bulgarian blimp okay, chasing him. Come on, Hulk, Hulk, get, get him back in here. She's the Hulk. Hulk runs off into the arena. Oh, no, they're leaving Sam Where's Houston alone. Oh, here he alone. Goes. This is not a good sign. Wait a minute, Sam Houston is taking. Sam Houston kicked the Bulgarian blimp. And now both the tag team oh in the ring, gosh. and Sam Houston, co I mean, full game blow comes in. And Look at Sam Houston, Houston giving him those chops and pounding on him. Hulkster has his something. What is it? And he's hitting everyone with it. He just jumped off the ring and is whipping around this rocker with it, chasing him out. Did you see them yellow teeth? My crap, when does he ever brush those chops? Rambles Rocker. Mm -hmm. I'm going like for a throw. Uh, Houston is so hurt, he might even get pinned right now. What is this? Oh Another move by Bulgarian Blimp. You know, you can tell oh, people oh, are throwing things in from the crowd because they want Sam Houston to win. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, Sam Houston, get him. Come looks on, like Sam Houston, get him. Will be, will be pinned soon. Say, oh, so I Look at that. definitely agree.
they feel. What are all, all these hometown ones? people? They want the old Sam Houston. The cake's all broken off. If he gets him again, another one of those slams or something, I think it's going to be definitely over. Yes, definitely over. Definitely over. the 1988 All-Star Team. The 1988 All-Star Game coming live from Royal Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. Your 1988 National League All-Star Team. First off we have Oral Hershiser of the Los Angeles Dodgers, the pitcher. Oral had a career year this year. His ERA was 203, 19 wins and 3 losses. Pitched 36 games and had none, no saves. Yeah, and he also had 157 strikeouts. Next we have the center fielder, Daryl Strawberry of the New York Mets. Eugene Strawberry batted 260 in 1987, 88. He had 37 home runs, 15 stolen bases, 27 doubles, 5 triples, and only struck out 100 times. Finally, we have Andy Van Slyke of the Pittsburgh Pirates. He had a career this year, career year this year, led his team to second place in the National League. He also had led the league in triples, was third in sing doubles, and had a 286 average. He also had 23 homers and a 282 average. And that is your 1988 National League All-Star team. And now introducing your 88 American League All-Star team. First up, Don Mattingly, first baseman of the New York Yankees. In 1987, Don batted 3, 2, 327, 38 strikeouts, 115 RBIs, 30 home runs, and two doubles. The right-handed pitcher for the American League, Mark Gubazaw. Mark was a 21 game winner and lost 7, 336 ERA, and did a remarkable job as a starting pitcher as of the Royals tonight at the All Star game. Now introducing Jose Canseco, the right fielder for the American League All Star team. Jose was a member of the first 40-40 club, 40 home runs, 40 stolen bases, had a good year and led his team to the American League pennant and to the World Series, but lost to the Dodgers in five games. This game is brought to you by <laughs> Swatch. 
The watch company that makes all the weird watches. <laughs> Throwing out the first pitch of the game, major movie star, Jack Nicholas. Good pitch, Mr. Nicholas. Our first batter here, George Brett. Strike one. With a count of one no. Don't touch the hand. Shh, be quiet. Hey, hey, Chris. One and two is a count on George Brett. Swings for a strike three. He can run. He's running. Is he? He's going to second. He's safe at second. He's not trying for a third. Come on, boy. Our second batter, Don Mattingly. First ball is. First pitch is a high ball. George Brett was called out for running out of the baseline, and besides, that rule doesn't apply in all-star <laughs> games. And that's a strike one on Don Mattingly. Counts one and one. <laughs> one ball, two strikes. It's a count on Don Mattingly. Mattingly's not looking too great. Just strike three. Oh, he struck out Mattingly. Spatter. Jose Canseco. First pitch is low, ball one. <coughs> Second pitch, low, ball two. Small. Count is three and oh to Jose Canseco. Balls are back. Three balls, one strike. Does it count on Jose Canseco? Moro Hershiser has two strikeouts this game. Pitching a very good game. Strike two. Count is full on Jose. And it looks like he's going to retire to the side in strikeouts. It's ball four. Taking his base. And there's Canseco up on first base. There's the pitch. A little outside. Ball. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. Ball two, way out. And the runner is going. Makes it there. It's 2 and 0. Oh, stone base by Kaseko. 3 and 0. Oh, three balls, no strikes. Runner on second. Batter is George Brett. Here's the pitch. Right. Looks outside and it's in though. The runner's going to third. And Jose Canseco, he scores on a stolen base. Three and one to George Brett. Two outs, ball four, he walked him. George Brett, the runner, on first base. That's a good look at the catcher there, who just made a bad throw to score Jose Canseco. Man on first. <laughs> so and old to Dumb Annually. There's a lob. He's going. Yeah. He's out. Yeah. They got him. Caught him stealing. Yeah. There's 
No, no outs in the second of the bottom of the first. Scores one to zero. Ball. There's the ball one. Close timeout. Mark Gubas off. Very high average. Doing very good playing for the Pirates. Dreaded for the pitch. There's the pitch. And a tie. Ball two. Two balls, no strikes. Yeah, Divine Slyke. Doing a good job this year. And there's a hit. Down to center. Yeah. And he makes it an easy double. Safe. Called safe. What do you have to do? I don't know what you have to do. Does the red does the red dot mean stop? No, it's on. Okay, it's on. Strike. Strike one for Daryl Strawberry. Andy Van Slyke is on second base. 0-1-1 oh, to the pitch. Bikes, Van Slyke has the leadoff. Strike two! Right, Van Slyke looks like he's going to take third. He's staying. Catcher does a nice job by picking that up. Van Slyke's leading off pretty far. He snagged him. Good play by a second baseman. Mark Gubza. 0-2 pitch to Daryl Strawberry. Takes him for second. Safe right. again. Oh and two again. Mark Gubza is really All trying right. to keep him on. Time out. Time in. Mark Abzuga. 0 and 2. Pitch. It's a pitch. Ball. Ball one. Slice second third. He's safe. Safe at third. Good. From Gubzuga on Van Slyke on third. It's a pop up. Oh. He's out. Strawberry pops out to. The pitcher. Now, Daryl Strawberry is running for Andy Van Slyke at third base. And Kurt Gibson at the plate, representing the Dodgers. No outs. Guy on third. That's high. For ball one. To Kurt Gibson. The next pitch is on its way. Oh. He's out. Kurt Gibson flies out to the pitcher. Right, Mark. Now there is two outs, guy on third. Van Slyke at the plate. Two outs. Have enough of that, Van Slyke, we're ready. Mark Abzuga, two out pitch. Van Slyke, up. Ouch, that hurt. <laughs> Ball one. Wild pitch by Mark Abzuga. Okay. Holy crap. One and all pitch to Van Slyke. The pitch. High and inside! Van Slyke comes off the ground. Looking at him. He looks pretty mad. Nice catch by the catcher. That's standing, spitting right in my face. A 2 0 pitch by Mark Abzuka to Van Slyke. High and inside again! Wild pitch, he's over his head! The catcher does a nice job at recovering it! Looks like 3 0. 
One more like that. One more. Van Flag's got the bat in his hand. Gonna go for him. Mark Abzuka, the three and oh pitch. To Van Slyke, strawberry on third. The pitch. Timeout. Time a three and oh pitch. Come on, Mark. You can get it. Mark Abzuka, the pitch. He hits him! Hey! Van Slyke goes after him! He throws his head down! He takes it down! Here comes the announcer! He's coming in there! It looks like there's two people fighting. Now we got Chris. Oh, we got Mark Abzuko on, on that slug. And Daryl Strawberry's just sitting there like a wimp there, just trying to hold him back. Jose Canseco's got a steroids popping in his arm. He's doing a good job on that slug. Don Madden is taking a good job on Mark Abzuko. The announcer went out there. Good shot on him. Hey, hey, you. Hey, knock it off. See any more like that? I'll take both of you guys down. Just knock it off. Okay? Mike, Mark Gubaza and Vance Like were kicked out of the game for that. And that, that'll take it down to two one two outs in the uh, game. Three outs, that's the new inning. That's the inning. Three outs. Action! So am I. You haven't played. Foul ball! Mattingly. Look at that fool, can't even bat. Nice nice pitch by Gott. Oh, Gott comes in relief for Hershiser. Gott does a good job. He has 36 saves in the season. That pitch did automatically. Low and in outside. One and one to Don Mattingly. How are you doing, Mr. Okay. This is Mike Guerrero Kilola from <laughs> Royal Stadium. Hi, Vin. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good, Joe. Let's get to watching this game. Time out. Okay, got. What's he doing? He's going up to his armpit in his hat. Well, you know, there might be some controversy here. I don't know. He might. Don Maddie could feel. Hey, come on, huh? And it's high. Awesome curve on it. We're going to have to go talk to him. And hey, here comes the umpire on. walking out. He's in sweat, man. Not here comes the umpire. Sure. Paul Harvey. I mean, Doug Harvey. What? Oh my heck. It is, is a pine tar? Is a pine tar? Pine tar? We have nothing. Nothing in, the, nothing in the glove. Nothing, nothing no. in the glove? Come on. Just checking for some time. There's nothing wrong. Madeline, take it easy, buddy. Hey. Come on. You can't do that. You're nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. Madeline? Nothing wrong. Come on. Hey. Hey! Yes, it is. Take it easy! Matt, I think get your butt over I mean, you're behind over here. Hey! No, get out of the way, get out of the way. Hey! One more like that. One more like that, Conseco, you're out, buddy. You're out. Conseco on the umpire. Conseco, you the umpire. Oh, it wasn't even running. Yeah, it was. The pitch don't matter, Lee. Still right. Two. Two and two. Two and two. Thanks, man. Have awesome, a bit of controversy in this All Star game. This is the 25th All Star game in the World Series. I mean, in the net. <laughs> Major League Baseball. High inside, right over his head. Don't matter. He's taking some looks at him. Madden Lee doesn't really feel too safe. Well, Stottlemyer is coming out there to check him out. Here's, my, here's Mel. The phone is ringing in the bullpen. See, the gym god is having some trouble. What is that? What is that? Mel Stottlemyer is taking out of his pocket and handing to Jim god. What is that? What is that? What is that he handed in, handed in him? Hey. Mel Sotomayor, better take it easy. Keep your, you're supposed to keep your hand in the pocket and do your job. <laughs> he left. He's going home. Don't fart. I mean, don't don't toot. Here <laughs> Hot. Two two pitch. Dom Mattingly. The pitch. Yeah! Go! 
Here we are in the ninth inning. Jose Canseco up. Jose, uh, Jose Canseco up. He's bunting. No, it's a first. He's safe. He's taking second base. He slides into second. No one's there. He's safe. First baseman is having some trouble. He doesn't seem to be here. We've got Jose Canseco on second base. George Brett up. He's going to his armpit again. And his hat. Mel Stoddard might, might have gained something. Because I saw him t get, take some out of his pocket. The pitch, Brett. He has a jump! Jose Canseco is taking third base! He is taking third base! Yeah, I think it's an, it, it might be a mistake. He's going home. He is safe. Yay. Yay, A's. Yay, A's. Don't celebrate yet. It's only two to nothing. Bottom of the ninth inning. Here is two to nothing. Two to, two to nothing. <laughs> two to nothing. The pitch is one and O. Oh. He throws it over his head. He's taking it seriously. Brett looks at him a lot. He's giving the look. God is having some problems these days. The stupid catcher is doing a great job. Having a little meeting out there. Okay. The 2 and 0 pitch. Strike! One! He takes a terrible swing at that. I think he just takes all of his anger out of it. It's a nice pitch by Jim Gott. Jim Gott is having some problems here. It looked like a breaking ball or an off-speed pitch. Two and all, two and one the pitch. That was close. That was close. That was close. Three and one. Three and one the pitch. That almost skimmed him off the Nile. They're having a meeting. He's, he's giving instructions out there. George Brett takes him. He's going down to his feet now. Watch what he's got. Watch what he's got. Brett, the third... It hits him! George Brett goes after him! He throws it! He takes him down! He is going after him! They ripped each other's clothes off! They're having some troubles! Even Don Mattingly's looking like a fool out there! Gott is on the ground! They're holding... Don Mattingly is going after his own players! Don Mattingly! Oh, Brett's on the ground! Oh! Oh! Mattingly takes the swings at him! Oh, come on! We're about sick of this crud! We are not going to stand this! The umpire comes up! The game is called out. Most of the players are laying on the ground. Here comes Strawberry! What is Strawberry doing? Strawberry, the stretcher, the stretcher, go get a stretcher, Strawberry. Well, what are they doing on the ground? Holes head Canseco is helping him. Strawberry went to get a stretcher. Wonder if he's gone one yet. Here he comes, the stretcher. The umpire must have called the game. Look at that full lane on the ground. Matty Lee looks like he's got some blood dripping off his hand. They're getting caught on the thing, on the stretcher. There's a big start of it right there. George Brett kicking dirt at himself. Having some troubles this year. Hey! He's taking it hard. He is taking it hard. Take, hey! He's taking it hard. He's taking it hard. Looks like he's going to rip the wall down there, buddy. Strawberry, oh, he's taking it out of Strawberry, 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 take, oh, Strawberry's getting the crud out of him, Jose Canseco comes to take the butt at George Brett, Jim Gott comes after him, he is sick of this crud, he is going to take him down, oh, Brett's got a bat in his hand, Sean, look, er, oh, they're, they're doing sword fights, fencing, 
I hope you know George Brett was a fencing champion in 1988. This is 1989, I hope you know. George, no, I'm at Ellings Odin, George Brett. This will continue at a store near you. This is Brent Bot brought to you by The Hand. The Hand is, is cost $2. Some for me. <laughs> the thumb, the finger, and the lines on the hand. This is brought to you by Nissan. Oh! Mets! The Mets! The Mets! Oh yeah, oh yeah. The red light's on. I know. Lamb. Lamb. Me and you get on the tram, step out of your hat, and we jump off the tram in different directions. What are you going to do? Just... <laughs> the only problem is you. <laughs> are you still filming? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gonna look good. Uh, okay, stop the killing. <laughs> Do something now. Are you still filming? I'll eat it on my hand. Oh. Back over there. That'd look funny if I could go back. Yeah, it would. I could just <laughs> land on my head. <laughs> <laughs> just go up and come back down. <sighs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't have someone you should. Oh. I know. Just like jump, jump on it. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Here, I'll try it. <laughs> no, give me my Yeah, that Kurt Pulver kid. One more time, even if I blow it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Is it on, Chris? <laughs> if you'd have moved, I would have been pegged. Today is the fight. Terry Funk called the club man who weighs two, no, let me see, what is this? 187 pounds against Wambus Waco. Wambus Who weighs 200 pounds and whoa, that was a close call. He weighs 200 pounds and he's from some city in Boise, Idaho, something like that. And there's, there's, there's a good fight going on the way. Ding, ding. Now what, boys? I'm on the queen flight. Um. Just he pulled my hair. Shut up. You, I don't want to see no more of those cheap blows, okay? No more cheap blows like this. Let me show you a cheap blow.
This is a cheap wall. <coughs> okay, I don't want none of those. I don't want none of these. Ugh. And that's, you know, I don't want that sort of thing. Now let's get a clean fight and none of these. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, 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 let's go. Ding, ding. Oh, that was a mean shot to the face. What could happen in today's match? Oh, that was so fake, it was like unreal. Oh! To the lower abdominal region. Nice drop kick. And wait, what is this? We're having somebody fight for Rambis Rocker. Rambis, come here. And Rambus Rocker has changed. And in comes the Converse man. What a man he is. It's like he's unreal. He is wasting on the club man. He must be a new wrestler. His name is Converse. The Converser. Ooh, we throw against the ropes and gets him with a nice drop kick to the gut. Look at his face. Boom, and he makes a beautiful catch. Ooh, and he drops him down. Oh, I gotta shut up. And I think that this is an awesome fight. <laughs> Looks like he has pain to his neck. It's going down. Whoa! What a blow to the gut! Oh! A blow to the back of the neck! Whoa! Whoa! That guy is ugly. I come every time everyone looks like Bulgarian blip, they spit. I don't know why. Picks him up. Whoa! He's going for a backing carry. Throws him down. Good time for the Boston Crab, but no, he gets him in the back. The fight, Converse, the Converser, against the club man. And guys are really mad at each other, it seems like. I don't know why they had to get someone Take Rambus Rocker's place. He was a good man. Oh! He fits beneath the you know. Oh no, not this. <laughs> what is he doing with them? I do not believe it. Oh, what is this? He's gonna pull him over. He can't. He's trying to, but he can't. I do not believe Believe it! Oh, it throws him down. Tell that guy to shut up.
we had our chance to speak with Rambus Rocker. But we might see it after this fight. Oh, pulls him over. What happened there? And the club man is getting beat. Oh, look at those bones in the back. In the back. Oh, look at it. He is actually laughing about it. He reminds me of that guy on Nightmare on Elm Street. Both laying down their bed, and in comes Converse the Converser. A stunning blow, ladies and gentlemen. A stunning blow. Oh, and he's got the scissors on him. The scissors. This could take him down. Turns him over. Ah, whoa. Gets up, flexing for the audience. Woo wee. Whoa, why not? I'm not guy. Whoa. can take it out of the ring. Or oh, I can hurt somebody with that thing. Ah! What's this guy streaming about? Converse! Ah! The converser! He's got a thing, he's got his shirt over his head! Oh. And the club man is beating him up while he has it over his head. What is it? Oh, he just him over! He's got the figure four leg lock. He gets out of it. No, I don't. You know. Like totally red, you know. Shut up. Like totally red. What do you need, dude? That was uncalled for. What a man! He's got the figure four leg lock. Ah, oh, the belly Easter. <laughs> the converse. Oh! He gets a blow to the back. Did you see his face? He scratched him. He scratched him. <laughs> this robot is flexing. He's doing too much flexing. He better win it. Oh, I can go for the pin. No! The pin! The pin! Nope. No pin. No pin. Like that smiley around this rocker. I think he's an awesome dude. Oh, what happened there? Converser jumps down on him. Oh, that would be insane to be in his position. Seen that hurt him. Oh, the ghetto! The ghetto! He got him! Turning him over! One, two, three! The winner of this bout, the Converser! <laughs> Mamba won. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> and what is this? Watch it right here. 130 pounds? Hulk! Hogan! <laughs> and now, who just made his way to the ring and went of. 102 pounds, Rambus Rocker! <laughs> ding, ding! The fight has already begun. <laughs> Look at these two young men fight. Looks like Hulk is in a very rowdy room. Very oh. rowdy.
I should say. <laughs> mood. He's a very rowdy mood. <laughs> Rebel Strong is getting killed right now. No, I said the wrong thing that's going to anyone else in the world. <laughs> have many friends in the WWF. Oh. I'm surprised one of them is not helping him. This is Ultimate Warrior versus Hexen and Duck. Oh, you're being so bad to the back. Hits him in the back. Down goes Hexa. Jim Duggan. And the crowd is going wild. Picks him up. Watch the hair. He's got the hair. He's going out for the DDT. He gets the DDT in there. Oh, he drops the leg down to the stomach. Only the side of the stomach. 
And what a fight this is. This, this is a common fight. It's not usually Hacksaw Jim Duggan against another good guy. Or Ultimate Warrior against another good guy. And he's got the head! He's locked him in the head! What is that? Choking him. What a fight. Bounces off the ring. Rope. And he hits him with the, an elbow to the stomach. He gets out of there and comes back in. Attacks him Duggan's board. With that two by four. Oh, man, what pain. He's hitting him with the two by four. Look at that. Oh, look at him, boys. Hacks like him, Duggan. He's getting what he deserves. He's got him. One, two. Oh, he gets out of it. And here he comes. Here he comes. He grabs him by the hair. And it, it's a body slam. Oh, he won't let him go down. He's not gonna let him drop him. Oh, here he goes. Oh, and it's a backbreaker. Here he goes. Off the rope. Oh, in the stomach. Here he goes. Off the ropes again. Oh! One, two, three! We have a The winner is the Ultimate Warrior! on the ring at a weight of 50 pounds, the athletic supporter. Yeah. Mm. Now on the ring, the, at a weight of 205 pounds, the honky talk man. Begin. Ding ding. <laughs> Looks like a good matchup today. The honky talk man trying to get his belt back from the Ultimate Warrior and will fight him as a combined team at the Survival Series, which will be on Thanksgiving night. Looks like that'll be very exciting. The Hockey Tuck Man giving a few kicks to the athletic supporter. He throws him against the ropes and he goes head first. He doesn't turn around. What a lame. Nice hit to the face. And they're both coming away on each other. So if it looks like the Honky Tuck Man will win, is winning. Honky Tuck Man, who still says that he's the, the greatest intercontinental champion of all time, even though he's lost the belt to the, honk, to the Ultimate Warrior. Honk Talk Man showing some of his shake, rattle, and roll. And he's doing it now! And. Honky Talk Man saying it won't hurt! The. The athletic supporter slips out of it. He has, who has trained all this time for this fight. <laughs> This, and he's trying it again. There's the shake, the rattle, and the roll. And this time he doesn't say that it's gonna, it's not gonna hurt. And it looks like.
Jackie's in pain, the athletic supporter. And he's in. One, two, two, two. he's up. Don't count. Hillbilly calling for his mate. Hillbilly, do! The Hillbillies look like they're very good tag Both Hillbillies pounding away on the second star, first star man. See that maneuver! And look at the star man. He looks like he's in pain. A word from the hillbilly number one. Oh, he's choking him! Oh, what a pan! Couple of pans to his stomach. Look at that muscle bound hillbilly. Oh, did you see that maneuver? He almost pinned him, but the star. Oh, he's pounding away on his back. And they're both taking their turn of pounding away on their faces. And now the, the 
the hillbilly takes his turn and keeps on pounding on the star man. Looks like he's taking them down. Star man looks to be in hurt, in pain. He pulled out me out. And it looks like to be a little fight outside of the ring. across the ring. And look 
get them twice. They're... Both of them are in the ring. What are they doing? And he's going back. He's doing something. He's getting the gloves. Oh, look at this. He's getting the boxing gloves. The TKO! USA! <laughs> oh, nice TKO! Hit. TKO! Yeah! Well, look at this. Yeah. He's getting mad. He's real mad. Look at this. Fight, folks. One, two, three! And the champion's up! Yeah! Yeah! Here it is, the Battle Royal, part three, and the first contestant, the Battle Royal is Hillbilly number one! And our next contestant of the Battle Royal, Sam Houston! Keep it bound. And our third contestant, the Intercontinental Champion, Ultimate Warrior! Yeah! 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 And our next contestant, Brutus the Barber Beefcake! Contestant.
heard from the Rujo brothers. And then back comes Ultimate Warrior! Those two are supposed to be friends. They could still be friends, but in Battle Royal, everybody needs to win. Okay. Who so lands on? Is the red light off? Yeah. Oh, okay. Here it comes. Do you want to zoom it any time? Let's see. I just go like this. No, 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 no. no just that. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 Look at the camera as much as you can. Is everybody out here that's here? <laughs> Missy, tell me who your friends are. No, just be jumping and say, this is Mikkel. Say something, Mikael. Oh, hey! <laughs> wait, 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 don't jump yet. <laughs> Carrie. Linda, just like we're doing this, okay? Linda! You little brat. Come on, this is memories. <laughs> I think they do downstairs. Hmm? No, I'm just going to do a few more minutes. We've got too much work to do. Oh. 